Okay guys, so as you can see, we've got this beautiful, beautiful Yale padlock here. And as you can see by the uh, the logo, I think this is a an American um, Yale padlock, a 65mm with an 11mm hardened shackle there. Um, and as you can see, it has to the uh, removable core. But you've probably already noticed, it's some, um, let me just zoom in there a little bit. It's um, It's got like an American style uh, keyway in there as well. So I think it's got like an American kick uh, cylinder in there. Um, and as you can see by the uh, the key, obviously we've got uh, an American style key and I've actually Googled the actual key code there um, and it does actually come up with an American key. So I believe that this is actually an American Yale. Obviously it works absolutely fine. And you see it's a little bit crunchy, but this has uh, definitely been uh, in use at some point. And um, yeah, not a bad little padlock actually. That's, uh, and I bought it off of eBay actually, off of... Um, off of uh, yeah, off of a local guy in uh, in uh, in, the, in the UK. So yeah, absolutely wonderful, wonderful padlock. But of course, listen, let's see what it takes to pick into this. Um, obviously, American um, uh, locks or kick cylinders. Yeah, I'm I'm not too bad with actually. Um, the bitting on the key is not actually too bad there as well. So we should be okay with this. I would have thought. Um, just going to use this uh, Sparrows. Uh, I think it's the Matador actually, and uh, see where we go with it. Okay, so we've got heavy tension, um, a little click out of one, a little click out of two, dropped one again. Nice little click there, dropped us into a full set. Okay, so pin one and two, nothing on three, four, a little click off five, got a little bit of counter rotation there as well. You can definitely tell it's been used this lock, so okay, nice little click out of six there as well. Obviously, not as clear and as crisp as uh, as it would be if it was a brand new lock, but really nice to actually get a lock with a bit of history. Okay, so nothing on one. I think this is three. Click out of three. Four feels fine. Five and six. Okay, so we're still using very, very heavy tension. Okay, pin two. Click on pin two, and we got this open, so not actually too bad there. Um, okay, listen, what we we'll do, we'll uh, take it apart and just to uh, see what's inside. I'd say it's got all spools in. Um, got this little screwdriver down there, just take that out. Let's just bring the pinning tray over. Just to make sure we're all good there. Okay, let's get this out and see what's inside. Okie dokie. That's good. Whoa. Got those bits there. Okay, as predicted, we've got like a little American uh, kick cylinder there. Um, okay, we'll just light that back up again. We'll take that little circlip off and uh, let's see what pins are inside it. We've normally got serrated pins and also um, spools. It certainly felt like spools. If I can get this clip off, that's better. Okay, so let's just use the key there. We'll get a small follower and we will take this out. Probably speed this bit up a bit just to uh, speed the video up a bit there. Okay, that's good. Okay, as you can see, we have all six pins populated there. As you can see, they all needed picking as well. And of course, we got pin one, pin two, no, no, that's pin three, pin two. Four, five, and six. Nothing on the core there. Let's see what's up top. Okay, it was still standard in one. A spool in two. Spool in three. Spool in four. Five and whoops, lost, nearly lost that one. And six, and I'm guessing they're all standard springs. 
old standard springs there as well. Let's just get these orientated nice and neat for you guys. And then we'll have a quick look at the pins. And then we'll be on to the next lock. Okay, so we do have one standard and five spools, all with nice little copper springs in there as well. Come on, that's good. Okie dokie. Let's just get you zoomed in there. Okay, so as you can see there, we've got a uh, still spring in, uh, still pin in uh, chamber number one, a little tiny wee dinky one with a uh, spool in two, we've got a double serrated spool in three, a little dinky one in four, and another spool, another double serrated, another double serrated, and spools all around. So all in all, not a bad little padlock actually. I'm very happy with my little purchase there. And like I say, 65 mil padlock with 11 mil hardened shackle. Listen guys, hope you enjoyed that. And of course, I'll be catching up with you again very shortly. Listen guys, take care.